An interesting way to generate hydrogen gas with an alloy of gallium and aluminium, or aluminium. And a paper I read online suggested making an amalgam from pure aluminium, which I've done here, which is 1050 grade, the purest you can buy. I've put a few lumps. You're just about to see that it's uh, fairly liquid. Room temperature there, put it in the warm water. Now, I've not done this before, and I think I've added a bit too much aluminium, so it, it all hasn't quite dissolved, but I've been told if you add water to this, it's supposed to do it. It supposedly it reacts. Well, let's give it a go. And yes, I've cut down a bit. It's actually uh, it's quite vigorous, and it's just producing some bubbles of summit, So it's sorry about that. Now I would light the hydrogen on fire but because it's in a plastic container it'll probably carry on burning and it will melt now. I didn't want to use glass because apparently gallium wets glass and it's quite difficult to get off so that's why I opted for plastic. And it's actually considered to be quite cold as well. I mean, when aluminium reacts with sodium hydroxide, it, it, uh, sorry about the shaking, 12 degrees Celsius. And when the reaction's finished, apparently the gallium is very recoverable and it can be recycled over and over again. So it's quite a convenient way to produce hydrogen. The aluminium you use needs to be quite pure so it doesn't contaminate the, uh, the gallium. Considering this can be done with just water and without the use of sodium hydroxide or hydrochloric acid, it's quite safe. I mean, I could probably put my finger in that. Gallium itself is relatively non-toxic. Now apparently this can be done with mercury, but I haven't got any. If I did, I wouldn't do it because mercury is quite toxic. I'll pause the video for the moment and I'll come back when the reaction's finished. Right, quite some time after uh, it stopped reacting, I poured off the water into there and I've actually recovered the gallium. So I've re- uh, Redissolve aluminium in that, and the reaction should uh, should uh, be recyclable. So it's quite a convenient way to generate hydrogen without using uh, corrosive substances. So just water and aluminium, and continue to uh, reuse the gallium. So it's uh, gallium is quite expensive. I picked that up off eBay. I can't remember. I uh, quite a while ago I've had that this gallium. And uh, I mean, it's quite expensive, but because you can just reuse it, and I did read somewhere that if you use it for quite some, t if you keep reusing it, the impurities in the aluminium do stay in the gallium, and the uh, the way to remove it is to add concentrated hydrochloric acid, which does defeat the object of making hydrogen without using corrosive substances, because you do now and again need to clean up the gallium. But uh, hey, it's. Uh, I might uh, order some more gallium and uh, I may uh, scale it up. Right, I'll catch you later.